Right before Wednesday Night Fights 2020 Online Edition ended, Chris CCH would finish the year off by winning the weekly tournament, and with him qualifying for top 8 once again at the very first event for Wednesday Night Fights 2021, will he be able to start this year off as well as he ended the last one? Let's find out. Starting off with a top 8 winner side match, we've got Nephew and his Colleen who sent Hadouki, Troller, and Morty down to the loser's bracket to face Defenders and his Zangi. who first took down Nani, Shadokin, Advanced the Eli the Curry to go against Nephi's Colleen. Their match, despite some very exciting performance from Stupendous, all that explosiveness just ultimately couldn't find its way in against Nephi's Colleen, who was too quick at going in to deal some damage and then going out before it got too risky for it. The knockdown, here's the Oki, what's it gonna be? Okay, catch the back death, but he jumps out of that. No, Slow no down, season I'm one. Like... No season one out here, dog. Don't be doing that. <laughs> I don't saw that in bronze, you can't do that to me out here. <laughs> Finds a conversion, Neff definitely ain't gonna spin the bar for the super. Right. No, wait, you definitely use that more efficiently. A lot of Colleen players know that it does do a lot of damage, he's gonna hold back like that. And now, th this is a dangerous situation for Stu, because just like that, you've gotta worry about the skates. It's so fast, you can't react to it. Mm. And that's, that's gonna spell disaster. Neff is gonna take that first game. Fucking well be harmed. So that suck into the oh, super. Oh, did that work? Does not reach. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was good. Okay, and just poking out. Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> you know, I I normally have very little empathy or uh, <laughs> very little very little emotional attachment to Zangief players, but that was hard to watch. I'm sorry you had to go through that, dude. That was tough. After getting sent down to the loser's bracket, Stupendous would then go against Savile and his Lucio, first eliminated SHPL Tim to face Stupendous. Unlike his previous match against Nephew's Colleen, Stupendous would now have an easier time with the less mobile and not as far-reaching Lucia. But even though Lucia's normals and mobility might not be able to match Colleen's, she does have one tool that's better than hers that was key to going to this match, and that was her very active fireball. Superb play right there, and that's one of the things that's deep is meter management and find those moments to be able to have the CA to, to find that fish. It definitely has to recognize that there's me at the bottom, you better stay away brother! Ooh. He's stunned. I think this is dead. No, not quite dead. Not quite dead. I'm gonna hold my tongue. I think he's still alive. Okay, yeah. a little bit. Gonna guess. And the micro walk forward. That's so cheap. Dude, you're dirty. Okay, Reset goes time. Let me find that super thing. You put them hands on. This is the way you want it, baby. Uh huh. What's that? Holy suck in the corner. Oh man. Oh, he's trying. Jump in. Oh man. Okay. Can't kill. What's gonna be the? Oh, okay. He doesn't bite. He just blocks it out. How is Stu going to get it? How are you going to close this round out? He doesn't want to give Sevely the chance to breathe. The bar is gone in terms of the B trigger. All you need to do is walk your way down the slide. Careful what you do. If you slide the wrong way, if you hit the wrong way, duck in the oh. corner, C8! Oh. Doesn't reach the fadeaway. Sevely with the fadeaway. That jump back heavy kick. Oof. Careful though. Sevely just walked to the corner. Activation like how he's taking back his time. There's the finesse and there's the bless. Sevely laying all the damage. And putting his spicy out oh, red dot in the jump and look at the follow up. Sevely's going to take it off the this sick combo. Clip that. Clip that right now. You it ain't seen great. that before. I know you ain't seen that before. There is no way any of you out there have seen a, <laughs> see a combo like that before because nobody seems to see it in the first place. With Sevely with the sick combo and the that conversion going to take him. On the other side of that loser's quarterfinal match, we have Lakito Sakura who got sent down to the loser's bracket after losing to Chris CCH. There he'd go against Luigi, first eliminated Morty to face Flakito Sakura. Although Flakito might have been able to use Sakura's mobility quite well, finding the right distance to fish for a crush counter, his approach into taking that space did get him in trouble, dashing straight into Guile's fist and boom. Okay, doesn't, doesn't go the activation point yet, wants to try and maybe find a confirm, get a little bit closer to the corner, whatever it might be, but he does have to be careful. There's so much stock on uh, Luigi's side with meter. Oh, the interruption! Yo, mind, check the dash, he's checking the dash, mind the speed limit, dog, again, going 16 to 25 in the Trojan zone. That's fireball made, but look at the meter on Luigi's side, he's sitting free and one can firm away from taking this whole thing. And that great life building up super heavy. One good conversion to jump and okay. lands. Fakito ate him, able to put him in the corner. A DP ender right here. The wicked situation, we're just blocking the sucker out. B trigger off the table, just need to find a hit to do it. Luigi with the beer burst, that great life looking bad, dog. And, and, oh. and the EX flash kick is an anti air. The reactions of the youngest of kind. Do you understand me? We old men can't do that. After eliminating Fakito, Luigi would do the same to Savile to advance to final to go against the year-end champion, 
after a CCH and his set. God sent down after losing to Nephew in the winner's final. Despite Luigi's strong performance in his match against Flakito, Chris CCH was simply on another level during the loser's final match. Draw to boom, or any projectile really, and it's just been getting great mileage out of that skill one. Good jump in there, has to hold the plus frame. If you're not if you're not gonna answer back during the spin, you gotta you gotta hold back. And just like that, it's like in the corner, the axe kick into the soup with a buffer. Big dead. You're definitely right. You and don't need to wait for this one. And see, even right there, that wasn't the beast goal, but that is just giving you a look inside the mind of Chris CCH and how he is understanding, like, clockwork, when those projectiles yeah. are going to come. Hey! The axe kick! Oh, not quite. Like, well, okay! You have the meter to cancel. Luigi can make the comeback here. You gotta make the return. No receipt right here. Flip kick, no, not waiting. Careful now. Got a little bit, yep, just a little bit of chip damage, a little bit of space back. Oh man, don't test his reactions, we've seen this already. He is capable of it. And that well, super is like full screen, starts up insanely fast, you gotta be careful. And they're both close to chip, he's dead! The chip damage. I wanna see what you oh. He's not changing up his game plan. If you're not gonna anti air me, I'm jumping on in. And you can't play nobody, nothing in the game. If you're not gonna anti me, finds a counter hit, the uh, EX, the stun is not done just yet, but this is going to hurt. Yep, he gets the suck. Okay, he's close to building super again. He's working on it. This is rough. Luigi is just struggling, and he just calls it out preemptively. <laughs> and that's, you know, such a strong option from Seth, right? You After destroying Luigi, Chris CCH would advance to the grand final to go against Nephew once again. If Chris's message wasn't clear enough during his loser's final match, then he'd make sure to let Nephew know in this first set just how hungry he was for this rematch. Nephew pushing Chris CCH to the corner, keeping him caged there. And Chris CCH just trying to press buttons, trying to get some space back, uh, you know, keep, keep coming off of him. But Chris CCH, or Nephew is fine with that. He's been playing so patient all game and so controlling with, you know, maybe two or three buttons. Oh, we'll that? The fix right there we That's go. Good. Welcome okay, back, good. Nice. Came at the right moment where yo, yeah. Chris CCH making the comeback, has his life lead, catches him coming on in, closes the door in the face, and says, listen, I'm getting this one W. Let me add it up and let me see more games. I want to see more games. Back throw though. Careful. Don't let him get hit. Don't let him hit you low crouch and kick, right? That's one of the things that Chris CCH has to put on the deck and crouch and kick. But the low from Nephew, well, this actually might do it. Yes. Skating on through. Then throwing out buttons when he jumps in the air to try and catch another dash up attempt. And that time he just didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Off for crouching medium kick, finds the EX, yeah. DP Ender. Let me see that stun. Back throw, it's done. Okay. Chris CCH okay. able to put two okay. on the board and closer and closer to that reset that we want to see. Catch up, so we got to hold that in quite a bit. Okay, spends it on the X Parabell, makes sense. Gets the corner carry. And it's gonna this game? Be, yep, throw one more. Let's see how this is going to fight the way out. Got the Oh man, goes for the big overhead that hits you downtown. Careful, the anti air becomes way better the situation with the anti bar drop bottom from Chris CCH. You can definitely ATP if you want to. And you cannot leave any gaps. In fact, you got the lead. Goes oh right into the standing right, and that is going to make us. But despite Chris CCH's overwhelming streak that would leave any other player letting go of their controller and throwing their hands into the air as a sign of surrender, Nephew would remain calm and composed as he battled his way back. He can only be here for so long, doesn't find the conversion okay, back throw. Oh! EX though, using the spacing of the EX vanity step through. Oh, the... Don't even need to land to a crush for him to find something off, especially when he's got bar at the bottom. He gets a throw as well. Okay, already almost stunned, it is mountain. Oh, and he gets baited with the dash in, dash out the two step. Dancing all over him. But they be dancing all over that grave. One more sequence to do it. The counter hit still gets a fade away. Has to worry about these parts of this. Then runs with the oh! EXTV though. Nephew. He got two oh, ahead. Oh, and now he's got a hold. This is his good damage. The good corner carry. And the stun is racking up. He baited it. He is dead. Chris TCH takes it from the clutches of Nephew. EX denied the pressure. Oh, no! You gotta make sure you have those conversions and that they're going to work. You've allowed this man to actually be trigger. And now you need to call God. an ambulance. You need to call an ambulance. Not for me, but for you. To hold these ice hold this pressure right here. Even with the sun going down, it's still looking long. Immediately, Nephew gets out of there. Doesn't want to give him the, the crouch medium kick into uh, the fireball. Actually, he didn't want to give him Ooh. that. And he saves his bar so he can react. 
One more sequence is going to do it. The weight, the bait. There it is. Nephew with an ear to ear. Now you let him come down to the ground for the finish. Nephew is your winner of Wednesday Night Fights Online this new year. So that's it for Wednesday Night Fights 2021, Episode 1. Congratulations to Nephew for winning the weekly tournament. For more Wednesday Night Fights action, not only for Street Fighter V Champion Edition, but other fighting games as well, and a whole lot more, make sure to check out Level Up Live. Also, if you enjoy what I do, don't forget to show your support by leaving a like, sharing my video with your friends, and by subscribing so you'll only have the latest recap from my channel. That's it for me for now. Until next time.